expander and the first step is to take the pledge it and put it through the white diaphragm here like this and break that and then load the spool into the scope through the suction port and then take the white cannula and put it through the diaphragm into the all the way through the scope and it's going to come out the end of the scope uh, and this will be used to pull the string that will hold the bander through the scope. It's going to come out the end there and that is and then that has a hook on it and then you have the bander itself that is a string with a knot on it and that will be placed on the cannula that's been put through the scope and it's got this hook on it here and it will attach like this which is very easy and, and then that is pulled through the scope and very simply and then fixed on the end of the scope like we would any other bander and then the string is taken off the cannula and then the string is then hooked onto the um, spool and it's got a little slot in there and and then you just roll it up and you are ready to go banding and then there's a, a lock on here also and you can see it says firing in two two way so that that one this will lock it I think if it's in this position and then pushing that forward will open the spool up where you can actually band we usually don't do that but if, again if you want to lock it with this slot out it's in a locked position and then this is firing and then it's just deploying the bands in the usual fashion so that's how you load the bander.